Hey everybody, Chris is here. Welcome to X-Core Galactic Plague. This is a Plague Inc. clone, but instead of being a disease, you are aliens and you're trying to take over the world. Pretty simple. Now the main complaint about this game for most people in the App Store is the game is too difficult. Like seriously, like even the grays, the basic, the basic uh, alien here is, is it is a practice of beating your head against your desk. And I've beaten them. I've beat the reptiles, which are actually the easiest, by the way. This is like the easiest alien to play as. The insectoids, which is pretty good. And the Egyptian gods here, the Egyptian gods is a practice in insanity and beating your head against a brick wall. I, I have no clue how to beat this scenario so far. But today, I'm just going to go ahead and focus on the greys. And you'll see. So the greys are the most balanced alien. Obviously, they have the best uh, good mobility, good power, good influence. Uh, basically, every scenario, you have two options to win. You can win through power, influence, or a mix of both. And for the greys, you kind of want to go with that mix of both. So we're gonna play it on normal. And there's like options or abilities you can unlock using your, your freemium money, uh, either temporarily or permanently. But anyways, though, you go ahead and choose a country to start. I like starting in Brazil. It's not too bad. So as you see, your little dude just kind of shows up, speed up the game, and then, hold on, make sure the help is off, okay. Uh, eventually, a little red bubble is going to pop up. You're going to click the red bubble to get more points. And there it is. And then you see the, uh, the the spaceship will come down here and abduct the guy to be anal probed. But anyways, you go into your upgrade section. You have three tabs. Colonization is basically kind of your infectivity. This is basically your modes of transmission. You're going to be either going through borders, which is this the airports and the seaports and the borders are going to be kind of important because they unlock the maps and other options here and then there is the cloning which basically kind of increases the velocity at which your aliens spread around the world so anyways then there's the military basically this has both your options for victory here you can use the weapons which is basically increases military power, which is le basically lethality. And then human, you can start with human psychology, which basically kind of goes towards a diplomatic slash mind control kind of victory. And then there's adaptations, which is basically this is your heat resistance, your cold resistance and slowing down the uh, the research of the secret weapon, which will end pretty much end your game if they complete it so as we wait uh the first thing we're going to research though is the medical laboratory which all red bubbles this is all objective and this is red bubbles provide twice as many points so we want this so we're gonna wait again there's another one and world news this stuff will pop up uh, whether you like it or not you can ignore it and we're waiting for 14 points now because we're gonna make sure we get all the maximum points that the grades can get for the red bubbles. Ah, oh, come on, all right, cool. So now we have, boom, double, double points. So we're pretty good. So next things we need is to unlock air travel. And as soon as uh, the thingy pops up here, there it is, boom. And now really quick to every country you go into, generates this green bar called um, awareness and after it hits 100% that country generates awareness and after the awareness gets to a certain point the whole world is aware of your presence and they will start researching the secret weapon you don't want that pretty simple yeah that's great all right cool and there is air travel and the little green planes are your uh, agents being sent out to uh, set up in a country. And then we're going to set up uh, sea travel next. 
boom, water transport. And then this is borders transport or border transportation, basically. Boom. Boom. Every new country you infect, of course, gives you more points. Oh, we got into the Caribbean. Good. Because just like in Plague Inc., the Caribbean is the bane of your freaking existence. Perfect. All right, so now we have all base three basic modes of transportation set. Now, what else do we need to do here? We do need to make sure to keep our awareness down for as long as we can. So that's where Stealth Technologies is going to come in. Ooh, cool, we got in Japan. And you'll see the little green planes start getting shot down while there's awareness. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. And, oh, nope. We need just a little bit more, right? Yep. Three more points. Come on. Give me those points. We need to make sure we don't get found out too early. Oh, nope. Okay, cool. Thank you. Anyway. So you research uh, stealth technologies here. Boom, awareness goes back down to zero. So we're good to uh, sit around and just spread around more. Ooh, we got into Madagascar because just like in Plague Inc., Madagascar is one of the banes of your existence. Got into Egypt. Egypt is a good central location for uh, getting into places. Anyways, though, we're going to push in some more colonization, but we're going to activate cloning, which will spread us around faster. Oop, oop. Thank you. Activate that cloning. This will allow us to uh, spread around faster in countries. Okay, that's uh, basically a level of awareness. Uh, we're going to need to probably go up to 22 points here to make sure that the awareness stays down. If we don't get caught. <laughs> Getting caught is not fun. Especially if you get caught too early. You caught, get caught with your pants down too early. And the game will basically uh, boot, boot fuck you. So. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 22 points. That's 18. 19, 20. Okay, that's great. Come on. And there's that. Okay, boom. And we put awareness back down again. Like we said, we keep the humans out of our business here while we're trying to get into their business. And do 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 do. And that's actually where a lot of people don't understand is where the stealth technologies come in. You actually research them after awareness goes up, not before it goes up. It actually doesn't stop awareness from going up any faster. It just slows awareness down. I mean, well, it reduces awareness that has already been accumulated, rather. But anyway, so uh, we will go with the maps, which will increase uh, border tra border transmission, basically. And boom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A video of a drunken alien on YouTube. That's great. And then we're going to activate the Disguise, which will put Awareness back down. It'll be the last time we can actually drop Awareness. And... Do I want to do it now, though? Yeah, I suppose so. Whatever. All right. So Awareness is down. How are we looking here on the island nations? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we're everywhere we need to be, except for uh, Greenland, of course, because Greenland sucks. Anyway, uh, let's see. We're going to activate cloning probably level two. Oh, we're in Russia. Or maybe actually since... That's great, thank you. But since actually we are getting there... Let's get started on both killing and enslaving the world. Getting a head start on that is a good thing. Do 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 do. Thank you. And 
and and of course, you know, people are just dying, millions of people, and you know, nobody's noticing this. You know, it's it's you know, it's a good thing. Excellent. And let's see here. Activate that. Activate that. And of course, we're just going to kind of keep things going here. The faster we can get a head start on everything is good. Do 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 do. I don't think I can reduce awareness anymore. No, that. Oh, I could. Disguise two. If I can hit 21 points, then all the better, I guess. But I don't think I'll be able to. But we're pretty much uh, in the, the money position here. So if we get caught and they start researching, the music will change. And that's how you'll know. If we... Nope, we got caught. Okay. And that's fine. It's not a big deal. So we don't need this anymore. Uh, we Do we need to do... Yeah, it looks like yeah, we need to do road, road transport too, but not yet. Let's get that. Yeah, I know. They're, they're talking about preparation. And of course, there will be uh, key contributors to the research for the weapon. And you got to be aware of which countries are researching and try to target them as best as you can. And let's see here. We're just going to continue activating. Oh, we really need to get into Greenland, though. That's a problem. Greenland. Could somebody go to Greenland, please? Uh, let's try to uh, get into Greenland. Oh, we got in. Thank God. Okay. And Greenland will be like one of the first countries to go. Usually. But anyway, uh, 16 points up. We need to actually get some more uh, military up. Yep, Greenland went. When a country turns green, that means it is gone. It is off the playing board, basically. Um, yeah, increase the influence a lot first, and then we'll go with the military. Do, 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 do. I need research points. That's awesome. I, I'm, I'm pretty much everywhere, aren't I? I need to be in Norway, Sweden, and all that, but they'll they'll get there. The borders will get there. It, it, we're already there, see? And do 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 do. Oh, you know what? That's what we need. We need cold uh, resistance to get Russia, and then heat resistance to get the rest of Africa, India, and the rest of that. The greys are so slow at what they do. All right, cool. So now we need to kind of get military up there again. Let me see. Uh, yeah, United States is barely even there. And we're at like 50% here. Which also reminds me, we need to slow down the research speed, please. Actually, yeah, I forgot to do that. <sighs> okay, now that... Okay, you hear that little whirp whirp noise? That's a red plane taking off. If I can pop those red planes, then I pop research a little bit. Okay. So... Get research military up, and then we need to do. Uh... Oh, I got it. All right. The more countries that turn green, the better. 
Because then that's less research for the, uh... For the weapon. I need 17 to get to that. Alright. And then now we can start rolling back research, if I can get the points for it. Starting with 15 points. There we go. That's the last country in the world, I think, too. Yep, no more free countries. The greys are really inefficient. I'm just saying. Three, uh, two more points here. And we can roll research back a little bit. Watching. Okay. Roll research back a little bit. The next one will be a lot better. If I need to get to it. Which will be 30 points. And therefore, if I can get to it. In fact, I might lose. Oh, damn it. I gotta watch out for those planes. Half of the planet is subdued. That's great. Alright. Continue. Gotcha. Those planes are so hard to hit. And that's one of the main complaints, too, is popping the research planes is really hard. Come on, guys. Okay, Brazil is gone. We just need to get to 30 points. I think we'll get there. I think. Oh, thank you. I needed to pop that. Oh. Where, where, where was the thing? There it is. 30 points. Just get the 30 points. Oh, God, this is close. Okay. Whew. Okay, we're at 72 now. We can take a, a deep breath. Whew. But what we're going to need here is to speed up the subjugation of the world here. So we'll need nine points to do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Stupid research planes. All right, speed it up. Who got it? Okay. And we're watching. I did this in 20 minutes. Not too bad. But the grays are really, really, you know, bleh at, at this. Uh, so what else can we do here? Probably if I get to 21, I can slow down research time. Don't know if that'll do anything for me, though. I think I need to kind of just speed up, uh, speed up the killing. Which is going to cost uh, 14 points. Just speed up the killing. Get to it, fellas. How's the United States? Uh, the United States is not even done. Give me some red planes to pop. Very good. Give me another red plane. Very good. Oop. Oh, I need red planes. Uh, what about points and stuff? Um, oh, yep. Activate that. Oh, damn it. That one was too short. 
I hate it when they get too short. Russia, can you go away? Are you done yet? Almost. Oh, this is so close. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, I needed cloning too. No, I forgot to activate cloning too. Ah, uh, cloning too is important. You need that. Ugh. Did I hit that multiple times? I don't know, but here we go. Oh, this is so close. This is closer than I would like. I can usually end this with like 70, 80%. Okay, okay, Russia's out of the picture. It says the United States and China. Research is at a crawl. I think we're good. We won, barely. Uh, is there really anything else I can do? Military, um... I get one more point, I can speed up the military. Speed up the killing. United States is actually almost out of the picture. China is almost out of the picture itself. Damn it. That's not good. Okay, United States is out of the picture. China is the only one left. Come on, China, just go. But we have one. This is pretty much it. There it is. All done. 768 days. I am bad at this game, but also this game is really hard. But it kind of should be because it is a mobile game. Uh, I play this on BlueStacks. It's actually easier to play it on Android. Well, I don't see why this game isn't on Steam, by the way. Uh, even though it is kind of a play game cl a clone, it should probably just be on Steam. But anyways, though, that is all the time I have for. I hope this helped you out with learning how to play this game because it is just ridiculous. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell, punch the like button, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.